Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be trying to do an acrylic technique with masking tape. Now, I've had people ask me to do abstract paintings with masking tape, and I've actually tried a few um, uh, that uh, did not turn out well. So I had them recorded, but then I deleted the recordings because they just turned out really badly. Um, and so I just kind of shied away from using masking tape. However, the other day I came across a video of a, of a technique using masking tape that I thought actually was pretty cool. And the, the cool thing is, is that it's a technique that kind of puts like a weave, like an interlace weave, um, onto your painting. And you can do it onto a painting that has already been painted. So I thought that this was actually really cool, a uh, really cool idea for paintings such as this one, where, um, you know, it's got a, a cool background, but it doesn't really pop like some of these other paintings that I do. Like, for instance, this is also the same style of painting, um, but by itself, I think it's fine. However, this one here in front of us, um, actually, uh, I feel is a little lackluster, right? It, it's, a, it's a good painting. I, I like it, but it, it's a little boring to me. So today we're going to try to use the interlace technique with masking tape and a little bit of shading. So this is ultimately a shading um, technique for painting and we're going to try it now. I've never I've never even done this before so please bear with me if I get it wrong um, but we're going to try it so hopefully it goes well so we can record that and you know learn together. So this masking tape I've been having some real issues with just ripping very easily. So I'm going to grab another one here. I got another one. So we're going to try this and see if we can get it off. I hope that your day is going well. Uh, for me, I'm uh, recording this on a Friday. Day went pretty well. Actually, I got to leave work a little early because uh, this is actually being recorded before Memorial Day. So I actually got to leave a couple hours uh, early from work. So that's always nice, right? Um, and yes, I'm very grateful to still be able to work right now. So, you know, I'm very grateful for that. So, all right, we're going to try to start this and I want to try to make these um, lines, you know, fairly even. So now that we've got our tape down and it's crooked as heck, um, now we can kind of start to do the technique. Um, and I, I mentioned that I watched a video, but I didn't mention the YouTuber that I saw. Uh, her name was Veronica, and um, she actually has a lot of cool uh, effects and techniques that she does with shading um, using acrylic paint. So I actually thought I would call uh, shout her out and I'll link to her channel in the description area because she has some really cool effects. So I, th I think that she definitely deserves a little bit of a attention. So I've got a brush here. Now that we've got our um, paint on our surface, now we're going to do the actual shading. And we don't want to put the paint directly on there because we, we don't really want a lot of paint. Um, and I actually ran out of wax paper, so I'm kind of looking for something here. So we'll actually use this, uh, this spare piece of paper. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of paint on there, right? But we really don't want a lot. We really just kind of want just, just a fine amount of, of paint here. And so we're gonna make sure all of our tape is down. And you know, if I had done less uh, squares, I would have made a lot less work for myself. I really kind of shot myself in the foot doing so many squares. Um, but anyway, so here we are. We're going to kind of brush this on, right? And we're not gonna go all the way to the top. Um, we're just gonna kind of um, do just the, the corners so you kind of want to stop just a little bit shy of the top here
Okay, now that I've kind of butchered this uh, technique, I'm gonna go ahead and go back and fill in some of these lighter areas. So, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I've, I've, I've butchered this thing pretty badly, but we're gonna, we're gonna you know, push on. And um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna kind of go back and the areas where I didn't actually use as much paint or, or thinner, I'm gonna at least kind of thicken them out because if if I'm gonna mess it up it may as well look kind of consistent um, so I'm just gonna fill in some of these here and then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take the paint or the tape off and kind of see how it looks now like I said I'm gonna I'm gonna link to her video in the description area because you know in other videos I've kind of talked about how artists will make things look easy right and, and I'm not saying that this technique is necessarily hard. I'm, I'm sure I'm butchering it. But when you're not used to doing a technique and then you just try to go in and, and do it right off the bat, um, it's never as easy as the person who's good at it makes it look, right? So this this girl, you know, I, I, I watched a couple of her videos and uh, she's got, you know, quite a few techniques where she does these 3D techniques. And again, they might not be... The hardest thing in the world to do but when you're not used to kind of doing that you know it just makes it a little more difficult so i'm, I'm definitely going to uh you know be linking to that video again because i, I think she deserves uh the credit of, of being able to pull this off so effortlessly or at least make it look that way right um so we're almost done here and then we're going to pull this tape off and we're going to take a look and see how bad we did here today so we're almost done. Fill this one in, and that one's a little light, so I'll do that one and that one, and then we'll we'll call it a day. So let's just fill in back here and down here and then down here. And it's funny, yeah, because so in her video she actually only had like 16 squares or nine or something. I I made it infinitely more difficult. Um, by adding so many squares, and I didn't even think about it either. I was just like, oh yeah, it's whatever. And she, uh, you know, she didn't do as many, and there's probably a reason for that, because this definitely takes a little while. So, okay, we're gonna just kind of touch that up. I think we got them all. Okay, let's see, let's see uh, just how bad we did. I'm gonna grab a cup for some water, so I can put my paintbrush in water. So we got that. Let's throw some water in there just so that it doesn't dry out. It is warm in here. So, all right, cool. So we got that. We'll set that there. All right. So now we'll take our paint off and kind of see what it looks like. And I hope you guys can still see this. Okay, cool. I'm gonna I'll move, it, move it just a little bit. Put it over that little screw I've got there. All right. So get this bad boy. Actually, let's pull from the top. So loosen all these a little bit. And I don't know if you guys like to hear the sound of ripping tape. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll leave those sound effects in this time so you guys can hear. I don't know. It's kind of satisfying to me. It's almost like one of those little ASMR things that you would listen to. You know?
piece of tape here. Good, cool, cool. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, obviously my um, shading is less than desirable. However, it still looks pretty darn cool. Um, I actually, I think it looks better than I thought it was going to. I'm gonna show you guys real quick, um, you know, what we've got, what, what we're working with so far. So this is, so far, the, uh, the piece. Now, again, my shading is not great. Um, I'm not, uh, never really practiced it, to be honest with you. Probably not super difficult, but again, not my forte. So, uh, I'm just gonna move that up a little bit so you guys can see it. All right, so now we're not, but we're not done. So as long as that took, and as cool as it actually kind of looks, um, we're gonna move on. So we actually have a little bit more shading to do. So I'm gonna throw a little bit more paint on my little sheet over here. And um, so now we're gonna do the cross weave. And the way that you kind of do that is you kind you're basically just kind of blending the two uh, pieces together. So we're going to put a piece of tape right here over this section. And we're going to put pieces of tape in alternating patterns all the way down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and just time lapse it. Okay, now that that only took forever, um, literally we're at like 40 minutes of recording time and you probably only seem like six minutes. <laughs> uh, that took infinitely longer than just laying a full strip down. So yeah, one thing that helped me kind of speed up just a little bit um, was kind of measuring how much I needed. So we don't want the strips obviously to touch because the method itself um, kind of wouldn't work that way. Um, also, I could have done just like maybe part of it to show you guys the technique, but dang it, I was committed to showing you guys the full thing. So you're welcome. All right, so what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna take this and I'm gonna kind of get rid of some of this excess water here. I do want it just a little wet, you know, just, just a little bit. Um, actually, that might actually give us kind of a, a good um, kind of look. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it center here. And now we're just going to cover, kind of connecting the two um, pieces of the painting that we already kind of have. So I'm going to kind of get rid of some of that and just really thin um, paint here and see if we can kind of connect these. So we're going to run this along the side. And we're going to try to keep it in line with the other one so it looks kind of continuous, right? Almost like it's one piece here. And we're going to bring that across. Bring that across. Bring that down. Again, if I didn't have so many squares, this probably wouldn't take as long. <laughs> so just keep that in mind if you, uh, if you attempt this technique. Okay, so having a, a wetter brush with, uh, you know, kind of the paint on a, on a wetter brush does help it a little bit, so it's not so blocky. So um, 
yeah, that does seem to help a little bit. And it, it kind of gives it like that right there was kind of a, a clean line across. So uh, I'm guessing that is kind of the key here is having a wetter brush with a little bit of paint on it. Just enough paint to kind of make it glide across the, uh, the seam here. All right, now I feel like we're, we're kind of cooking with gas here. So let's bring that over, get a little more paint, make sure we got the excess off, and bring that across, bring that bad boy across, get a little bit more, and bring this down, and go a little bit wider just to connect them. That one down. Okay, so now for the final reveal. So I'm gonna put my paintbrush in water and then we're gonna start at the bottom since, um, you know, those ones were probably drier. All right, well, I mean, my lines aren't clean. I won't pretend that, uh, the linemanship is is that great let's make sure you guys can still see what's going on uh, but I don't know it's uh, kind of does look like a weave actually I don't know, guys. I, I, I kind of like it. Uh, I mean, yeah, I get it. Okay, my lines are not the cleanest, and some areas are darker than others, and you know, it. Some of the lines are even thicker than others, and there's areas where some of the paint might have maybe bled under the tape. But that being said. Um, it does look like a weave pattern. I mean, honestly, I th I think it's pretty cool, guys. Um, overall, I'm gonna say it's a success. Maybe not in you know perfection or you know even you know even colors or anything, even lines. Um, but for the overall effect, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of impressed myself. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, first time I've ever done this and I like it. So I don't know that I would do it again because it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's just a lot of uh, small pieces that you kind of have to set up and, you know, again, uh, not my normal style, but I'm going to show you guys the final piece because I like it. So here it is. I'm going to take a snapshot with a thumbnail. Um, yeah, so again, I know my line work isn't the cleanest. It's, uh, it's thicker there than it is up here. You know, it's it's darker here than it is up there. I get it. I get it. But overall, a really cool effect that, uh, yeah, that I really, I just, I think it's really cool. Um, so props to Veronica. And again, uh, I'm going to link to the channel and the video itself um, in the description area below if you want to give her 
uh, if you want to check her video because obviously it's much better than mine um, but overall just a really cool technique that I wanted to pass on to you guys that I was kind of excited about and you know what even seeing it on my own as bad as it is I'm still happy with it so anyways that's it for the video guys hope you enjoyed um, this attempt and like I said if you want to see more 3d effects type thing on, a, on acrylic paints um, go ahead and check her out and that's it I will see you guys in the next video uh, so take care God bless and stay safe guys bye guys